everyone. Today we're going to do an experiment where I'm going to basically act as your lab partner as we investigate the effect of acid rain on seed germination. So the purpose of this experiment is to determine how acid rain is affecting plants. Um, I'm going to be working as a lab partner, so that means I'm going to show you what I'm doing and I'm going to show you the results, but I'm not going to interpret the data for you because that's your job as a student. But I made this lab so that if you are absent or working from home, you can still participate in the lab experience. I will put a Google Doc that I use with my students in the video description. We're not collecting actual acid rain. That'd be pretty hard to do. So we're going to substitute in vinegar to represent acid rain. And we're going to use the seeds of a wheat plant to represent plants. Whether or not that's a fair substitution um, for either of these, if they're fair substitutions, is something that you will need to evaluate when you are writing your conclusion. Okay, let me show you the material. Okay, so these are the materials that we are going to be using. I have petri dishes. I'm going to be using um, a number of petri dishes. I have wheat seeds. I have paper towel cut into circles that I can put in the bottom of my trays. And then I have graduated cylinders. And I have pre-made solutions with um, percentage of vinegar being altered. Okay, so I have now um, my setup where I've got all my different percentages of acid. So this one is 0% acid, it's 100% water. This one would be made with 99 milliliters of water and one milliliter of acid, 98 millimeters of water, two milliliters of acid. So you get the idea. That's how these solutions were made. And um, now to actually run the experiment is I take, took two pieces of paper towel that are cut to fit inside my Petri dish. And I'm going to just put them inside. And I'm going to, I already counted out 10 seeds. Okay. So I now have 10 seeds in my paper towel. I'm going to set up uh, six, actually seven different trays this way. And I'm going to put in 10 milliliters of each liquid into separate trays. Um, I want to make sure it's the same amount of liquid each time. And I want to make sure that I don't contaminate my graduated cylinders. That's why I have them labeled, so I make sure I only use this graduate cylinder with this solution so that I don't um, somehow contaminate as I go. Okay, so here I am with my 0% solution, so this is just water. This will be my control group, so I will know how the seeds perform without any simulated acid rain. So you got to make sure you are at eye level so that you can see that the bottom of the meniscus, bottom of the meniscus is at 10. So I'm going to just spread my seeds out a little bit on my tray and pour in 10 milliliters of water. I will then label my tray and put the lid on it. For right now, I'm just gonna set it in front of the 0% so I can remember that that was my 0% tray. I'm now going to do the similar setup for my 1% solution. So you'll see I've got my tray with two paper towels and 10 seeds. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up to 10 milliliters. I'm going to try to fill it. So the bottom of the meniscus is at 10. So this is 10 milliliters of 1% acid. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that on my paper towel. The last step is I'm going to label each tray so I can keep track of which tray is which. 
and then I'm going to put them in a dark location for three days. Um, in my case, I actually put them in one of the drawers in my classroom, but they will sit there for three days. After three days, we're going to count how many of the seeds have germinated. Okay, it's been three days. Let's look at the results. Okay, here is our 0% acid tray. So this is just pure water, our control group. We have one, stuck to the paper a little bit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that have sprouted. And we've got one that did not sprout. Okay, so we call that germinated. So nine germinated, one did not germinate. Here's the results for 1% acid. I have, um, I'm going to move them to this side this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that germinated. And I have 2 that did not. Okay, a, our 2% acid. Kind of push them to one side. Looks like. Uh, let's see, there's two. It didn't germinate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds germinated, and two did not. Okay, here we've got 3% acid. Um, I'm noticing these are getting a little bit smaller, the sprouts are a little bit less pronounced. Two, three, four, five, six, seven have sprouted and three have not. But there's also a difference in the length of the sprouted material of how much it grew is a little bit less. Okay, here is our 4% acid solution. We've got, I'll put them over here. One, two, three, four seeds that germinated. It looks like we now have six that did not germinate. Okay, here we've got our 5% acid solution. And it looks like we've got one you can kind of see a little bit of a sprout on that one. It did germinate a little bit. Two. And it looks like the rest did not. Okay, here's our 6% acid. And it does not look like any of the seeds sprouted. So there you have the results as far as um, what I have my students do with that information is attached in the video description. There's a Google Doc I have them fill out. So with my students, I ask them to now take this information and make a data table, make a graph, and write a conclusion about whether uh, the percent of vinegar affected the number of seeds sprouted. And then they've got to talk about whether it's a valid experiment when we compare it to acid rain and plants in general. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please give a thumbs up. I also have several other videos where I essentially act like a lab partner so that students who are home can still participate in experiments and have a somewhat similar experience to as if they were in the classroom. So uh, I hope to see you guys again on a different video. Bye-bye.